guys, welcome back, and uh, just starting to get my basic tool set set up here. Sorry about this being a little on the light side, but I wanted to hold off because the pack has updated yet again, and this could have some repercussions on me. Previously, uh, the way the pack was set up, uh, when you start off your first weapon, you actually got a pretty decent uh, spread on what you could do. Actually, that's a first, uh, you would actually get a pretty decent amount of starting modifiers, and yep, it looks like that has definitely been taken back a little bit. I mean, the XP is still in good shape overall, but yep, no more of the running amok with 11 million modifiers right out of the gate, which is kind of sad, but, you know, all good things must come to an end, so that has been patched, but yep, I'm running the 1.51 update. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what I can do with it. Where's the sword cast? My large blade sword. I've got my knife blade. Did I not do a regular sword blade? All right. So now that I'm getting my tinker's tools lined up, uh, there's also actually another addition that was made to the pack, and that is that crossbows. Well, actually, bows of any kind are back in the game, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's glad to see that those are coming back. I'd like to see some Tinker's Construct armor sometime soon in the near future, but uh, essentially that is now updated. And of course, as a result, the book is now updated as well. So we've got our bow materials. Let's kind of look at what we've got there for options, which is to say, not a lot. Uh, wood's going to be fast to build and regenerate. Very interesting. I do need to actually set up a seared furnace tinker tank at some point, just so I can start storing my stuff. I don't think there's any other changes as far as materials go. So I've gone over the updates to Tinker's Construct. I'm not seeing any significant updates in uh, the regular tools that I'm creating, so I'm not too worried about that, which is awesome. Uh, so this is kind of my early game pick for building things. I've got two levels of dents. Uh, the reason for that, as you're going to see here in just a second, is I, I want to stick with dents because dents means that it's going to last. My tools going to last longer when it has less durability. So that means this is going to hold out better. The modifier for bronze isn't also that bad either. Uh, it's slightly, it's kind of in the same neighborhood as iron, really. And the reason why I'm doing my bindings with iron is because I do get some uh, extra durability out of it. But it also means that it's going to kind of draw stuff in as I, as I uh, swat at stuff, which is really awesome. And I'm kind of just using my cactus to get rid of stuff and clean out my inventory, but let's get a sword in place. And the uh, for the tool rod, the modifier for the tool rod isn't too bad either, so that is the reason for that. Let's go ahead and yank that out. I need one more binding out of iron. That will let me craft my axe head. Two, three. Yeah, I need another uh, tool rod, anyways. Duh. Bronze. Two. Is that? Ruin of brass versus just regular ones. Let's go ahead and my go back in there. And one pickaxe. So, good news is we're pulled up. Bad news is what I'm used to doing in situations like this is kind of sitting back and taking an opportunity to go grab some mossy cobblestone. The mossy cobblestone is not a problem. I do believe there's at least one dungeon somewhere around this general area. I haven't run across it yet, but I'm pretty sure there is one. 
problem is, is that in uh, this particular mod pack, they've now changed how Mossy Cobble works. And what you have to do is you can still make the ball of moss out of any mossy brick of any sort. So you find an end dungeon, you're good, and that. But you've got to right click it on a bookshelf, and it has to be a vanilla bookshelf. It has to be an oak bookshelf, as far as I can tell. If it's being done with any of the forestry wood, that creates kind of the spe or anything that creates a specialized bookshelf custom tailored to that wood. It doesn't work. I'm hoping that might have been tweaked or fixed in some way. But you can see it also takes 10 levels worth of uh, experience to pull that off. So, seeing as I'm 16, it's going to take a while here to actually come up with that. At any rate, though, I'm in pretty good shape now for that. I am in decent shape for apples. My real big problem right now is lack of storage and resources. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. The mob situation has gotten bad enough that I've actually had to just start throwing blocks in anywhere and everywhere here just to try to keep the stuff out. And it has taken quite a bit, but I have sealed off about half my base, which is not that bad, not that great, but uh, I've also started working on my extended farm over here. Basically, I am just trying to get a good supply of fruit put together because that is one of the easiest early game foods that I can put together with the uh, state of affairs as they are at the moment. So I'm actually borrowing kind of the same planting pattern I've been doing over on the Zuma Hermit Pack server. And just doing it to slowly build stuff up. If I do it this way, then everything that I, all five crops that I plant here, will have a harvest size of essentially a 4x4 four four harvest full area. So we'll grab our beans, get those going. Good, and done. Okay. Unfortunately, not much I can do with the beans, as I've gone over before plenty of times by now, I hope. Uh, really, it just comes down to the fact that chili is one of the easiest foods that I could potentially put together here. There are just a million and one ways to combine it, put it together in some form or another, so that is why I am trying to focus on that. And... Something else I wanted to focus on, because what I would like to do is do a little more caving on this run. I want to, since I've got a decent number of mine shafts over here, I want to do some backpacks. Uh, the forestry backpacks are a really nice thing to have in the mod. Yeah, a lot of people will tend to use a golden bag of holding, but the great thing about the forestry backpacks is they will pick up the stuff. So. This mining backpack is going to pick up everything that I go through. This is the one I picked up from the mine shaft earlier. Uh, what I would like to do is supplement that with a digging backpack and possibly a hunting backpack as well because that's going to work to pick up a lot of mob detrius. Downside is, as you can see, I'm going to need some wool and I'm going to need some string and, of course, I'm going to need a good amount of chests. So let's just go ahead and take care of that real quick and I'll be back when I've got those backpacks ready to go. Alright, so as you may recall from episode one, I commented that the reason why I've got this massive world map already is because I used this while I was actually flying around the, this initial seed for testing. Uh, obviously that means I've got a little bit of an advantage, like for instance, I know that there is going to be a village, at least hopefully somewhere in this area. It may not be the exact same village, but it should hopefully have many of the same things. You'll note that it does have a blacksmith. And as I recall, it does have two libraries over there. So hopefully I'll be able to pick up some decent material. There are also two swamps out here, another one off to further off to the east. But we'll be passing by one over to the west. And the reason why I'm grateful to see swamps is because that's going to be a source for a lot of, of the Pam's Harvest Craft foods. I'm going to be able to take advantage of that. Uh, I have gone through, and you can see that I've made... Uh, hunting backpacks, and I also need to sit down and get that food made up. I think the... That's right, and I also need to finish off my chest as well, so let's do that real quick. This is the other reason why I like 
the fruit salad as an early game food because it is very easy to make on the fly without the inventory space. Let's put together my last backpack. I decided at the last minute to also pick up a building backpack because I can use that to pick up supplies. Now, if you're not familiar with the forestry backpacks mod, or, well, if you're not familiar with the forestry backpacks, period, not the mod itself, uh, you'll notice that I've got a little green arrow on that, and uh, what you can do with these guys is if you hold down shift and right-click on them, uh, you'll see that it changes the little icon down next to the backpack down here. So, for example, this now has a lock symbol on it, so nothing is going to be picked up by this backpack. Uh, if I do this, again, now it rotates to that green up arrow, what that green up arrow means So they're going to sit up there, take up some inventory space, but all in all we are in pretty good shape. Uh, what I want to do for plans for today is I want to obviously not blow up to that creeper over there. I want to head out and get over to this village by way of the swamp so that way I can kind of pick up some materials and also by way of that desert temple right here. I want to see what we might be able to pick up if there might be anything valuable out there. Uh, possibly maybe even a hermit block. We are not necessarily going to know. Because it's early game I am going to do two things. I'm going to take my station with me and I'm also going to take some bronze with me because all the tools that I've made here are repairable through bronze uh, they are all in relatively decent shape they're not necessarily perfect especially the bronze pickaxe I really would like to uh, get some diamond on that to boost its mining level but not just yet it's already up to diamond level right now love to actually wait until I get to obsidian before I uh, tech it up to cobalt just because that is going to make things a lot easier when I go out uh, looking for stuff. Now just as a reminder I am on hard mode here so this is probably quite foolish of me. I probably should have just slept but yeah can't take a chance once in life right? So plans for building on the mesa. It's something I actually have to think about. Um, I have not really put much thought into what I want to build up here. Uh, certainly the, there's the temptation to go old town, old, old, an old west town basically, but I'm already kind of doing that over on zombie craft. And yeah, I've got some choice of extra blocks to work with here, but including, let's not run right down into the valley of death over there. I'm going to try something a little different, especially now that I've got chisel. There's uh, it kind of opens up the way to really coming up with some creative build ideas. Of course, the problem I'm going to have over here is I have to cross that the little uh, creek down there. And oh, that's right, I forgot the mine shafts are down here too. Yeah, I might be able to take a little bit of a shortcut through those. Well, that's supposed to be part of a mine shaft there, I'm guessing. Let's see, what do we got? So now I'm actually kitted up in at least bronze armor. Feeling a little more brave about these uh, spawners down here. Look, my uh, minecart from episode one is still out here. Yay, salvage. Yeah, I can't make that. Keep forgetting it every time I try it. So that's a little bit of the dirt room there. I have to remember that the spider spawners here. That's okay. I don't really need a spider spawner for anything. And the reason why you see stuff coming up is because I've got the magnet mode on my pick, so that's going to come in very handy. Yeah, let's go ahead and break. Just so that I know I've also gone through here and gotten rid of the spawner as well. And I burned up a lot of string actually making the backpacks because I didn't want to waste the wool that I've got. So I turned a lot of my string back into wool knowing I've got the stuff out here. So what do we get? Uh, okay, some slime pearls, useful. Iridium shards, 
industrial craft too, I like that. An Ori Crystal Block, that is a little useful. A uh, pickaxe kit from Forestry, those can be pretty handy if you've managed to break your pickaxe and you've got one of them on you. Uh, but actually what we're going to do is I'll show you kind of some of this in use here. You can see that a lot of this stuff is not going to wind up back in my inventory. Hopefully. Okay, some of it is, but not all of it. And you can see that my building backpack has picked up a few things. The hunting backpack, digging, and mining backpack. They've all picked up various little bits and bobs of ores and whatnot that are out here. So that is why it is pretty darn useful to have this, especially because if I fill up an inventory spot, and this is incredibly reckless doing that, knowing that there's going to be mobs elsewhere in here, but... Uh, again, I'm feeling ridiculously stupidly brave. Oh, hey, look, we got another, uh, another box sitting on the open here. What do we got? Well, yeah, the usual, just kind of meh. Palace crystals are pretty good. Radium shards, I've now got enough to make a, a, a compressed piece of radium ore. Not that I really need the fancy armor. Oh, the hell biome crystal, that could come in a pretty handy. I just decided to start mucking about with my biomes here. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> there's another volunteer over there just waiting to be slaughtered, but I think we'll let him be. And there's this guy over here. Which I can get to now that I don't have to worry about the spiders in the area. Ooh, some decent stuff. Nebulous Heart, you can normally only get those by going after creepers. Uh, oh, that's right, there's floating sand above this guy. Scared the crap out of me there for a second. Uh, some more bread. Broken shovel. I can't really do much of the broken shovels or anything. In fact, we'll throw that. Okay, I don't know exactly what happened there. It caused my inventory to flip over. I can only assume... What armor are you in? Jeez, um. I don't know how the heck it did that, uh, that little flip there, but it did. So let's just kind of get everything. Oh, yeah, my inventory is now completely hosed. And hope that some of this will get picked up by. I mean, the gold ingot should definitely be getting picked up out of the mining backpack. Yeah, not much, but in fact, no improvement whatsoever. Anyways, I am losing some valuable time there. Daylight is not infinite. Here's that desert temple there. I think what I'm going to do is free up the inventory space, because you know there's going to be tons of stuff down in that temple, too. because I don't really need any of this stuff right now at the moment. I'll just come back and grab that later. Frees up just enough of my inventory. Yeah, that's right. Even the sticks didn't go... Uh... That's interesting. I'm not used to that being an issue. Definitely I'm going to want my blocks on the hot bar. Plenty of sugar cane in the area. That's boating pretty well. Uh, let's see, is this a... That's a little sub-lake over there. Ooh, this is a interesting looking flower biome there. Has yes, dropped me anything? Nope. Okay. Stingy guys, that's okay. Not even worth it. And lights, we know, but. And yeah, I am not being very efficient with my lighting patterns, but I don't think I really need to worry about that. Okay. Like that, and we'll do that just so I don't get surprised coming out of here. Uh, 
Oh, hello. Don't remember that the last time I came through here. Yikes. Alright, what do we got? Lots of sand and junk. Capacitors for Ender I.O., that's good. I can use those to upgrade machines if they're the right ones. Push Scepter. Ooh, Sailor Charm. Okay, that's going to speed up my boats when I go out on those. That, it's almost like putting a boat on the ice when you do that. Uh, we can toss these guys on the ground because my hunter's backpack will pick up those. Same with the sand. That will be the digging backpack. The only downside is you do kind of have to rethink how you grab things out of chests, to be honest with you. Drowning protection while carrying. I like that. Effectively water breathing. And pull those in. Oh, bubble ring, bubble ring. We so want those. You can get some really good rings. Over on Hermit Pack, I've got a, or the Zuzumo Hermit Pack, I've got a ring. I what it's going to be. I've got a ring that gives me basically a whole ton of extra enchants while I'm wearing it. Well, not enchants, but a potion effects that are permanent. And it's pretty OP. Let's see what I got on this one, though. Fourth edition, uncommon, provides resistance to? Not bad. I will certainly still take that, so now I've got permanent resistance to, and uh, hopefully not permanent potion effects. I can't remember if it actually does that or not, or if it just got particles off, but that was a good find. Uh, I don't think that's actually... Yeah, anything from Reliquary that's a mob drop doesn't actually show up as... Doesn't go into the hunter's backpack, which is really kind of annoying, actually. Uh, staff traveling, mm, useful, but not necessarily. Bronze boots, mine are in relatively good condition. Uh, plenty of the black lotus is going around here, so we'll kind of do a little bit of consolidating here off camera, and I will be back with you guys in a moment. All right, so there we go. That's going to kind of be the results of my haul so far. What you see, I've got my inventory here and what I've got over in my chest. Uh, you can see there's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of limiting myself to for taking away. And most of that's because it either doesn't do me much good, like the bronze pickaxe and boots at this point. Uh, the ender ender, I can easily get beheading on this guy. And yeah, the damage on this is a little higher. It's seven attack damage versus the five I'm doing now. But this is not going to take that long to uh, bring up to the next levels or anything. It's very quickly going to uh, kind of compete with that. The upside is, of course, you get the increased Skull and Ender Pearl drop chances. But, eh, I can really kind of do that with uh, what I've got in hand already eventually. I'm not running to the end here. I'm going to give myself a nice measured playthrough. I don't want to take forever doing stuff, but I don't want to sit around zooming through the packs at you know rapid rate. Then you don't get to enjoy anything. Uh, same reason why I'm leaving all the wands behind. I don't have any way to charge them up. I'm not going to have RF generation for a little while at least, probably. Uh, same thing with Reliquary. I'm not really messing around with anything in Reliquary right now. I haven't really ever used that mod much. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience for me. But I am taking some Batania stuff back. I'm grabbing horse armor while I'm down here. The good horse armor. Uh, the radium shards, just because they're rare. Uh, Palest crystals just because they're also uh, surprisingly rare to find. And this is where you get kind of those uh, Inori crystals. As you saw, you could make a block out of it and they're empowered in that case. I still have to potentially power that, but there are some uses for it that I can do. I could come up with a drill core if I wanted to. Or at the very least, there's some casings and Inori crystals I can get out of them. So I definitely want to take those back. They're somewhat rare. And I'm going to leave the Ender IO machines over here. You can see that these all have uh, different effects like increasing the energy storage speed range of machines. They all have random quotes and random names and uh, capacitor of what is this doing here? The capacitor of what is it doing here? Unremarkable capacitor. Uh, they have effects on the Ender IO machines, so they're useful but not just yet for someone like me. So I've taken all the other stuff, and then the only other thing I need to pick up while I'm down here, in case you thought that I might have forgotten about it is, of course, the TNT. Come on. Up we go. 
And the other advantages, when I come back here to get that, I've got a cave system here ready to explore. It's got some uh, pretty decent stuff in there. Ooh, night time. Could be interesting. Uh, could be completely deadly. It's gonna be a